Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 1, Day 2. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chell. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 1, Day 2. For the learning competencies, the learners determine and write the value of a number of bills or a number of coins or a combination of bills and coins up to 1,000 pesos, centavo coins only, peso coins only, peso bills only, combined peso coins and peso bills. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to recognize the 200 peso, 500 peso, and 1,000 peso bills and determine and write the value of a number of peso bills only up to 1,000 pesos. Now kids, please identify each bill and its value. Today, we will learn how to determine and write the value of a number of peso bills only up to 1,000 pesos. Let's read first these vocabulary words that we will be using here in our lesson. Let's read together. 20 peso 50 peso 100 peso 200 peso, 500 peso, 1,000 peso bills, pesos, money. Great job! In addition to the 20 peso, 50 peso, and 100 peso bills, there are other types of bills in circulation that people can use. Grade 2, this is 200 peso bill. This one is 500 peso bill. And this is 1,000 peso bill. Although peso bills have various features, this part of the lesson focuses only on the most prominent ones. How can you describe the 20 peso bill? Its shape is a rectangle and its color is green with the number 200 on it. You can also see the image of former President Jusdado P. Makapagal. When we say 200, it refers to the name and value of the bill. Now, how can you describe the 500 peso bill? Its shape is a rectangle and its color is yellow with the number 500 on it. You can also see the images of former President Corazon C. Aquino and Benigno S. Aquino Jr. When we say 500, it refers to the name and value of the bill. How can you describe the 1,000 peso bill? Its shape is a rectangle and its color is blue with the number 1,000 on it. You can also see the images of Jose Abad Santos, Vicente Lim, and Josefa Lianes Skoda. 1,000 refers to the name and value of the bill. Let's read the situation below. The price of a pair of pants at the store is 899 pesos. Rudy wants to check how much money he has in his wallet to see if he can afford the pants. Here is Rudy's money. Class, does Rudy have enough money to buy the pants? What do you think? What is the price of the pair of pants at the store? The pants cost 899 pesos. What does Rudy need to do before buying the pants? Rudy needs to check if he has enough money in his wallet to buy the pants. What different peso bills does Rudy have? He has 20 peso, 50 peso, 200 peso, and 500 peso bills.
Here are the possible ways of solving the problem. Solution 1. How did you determine the value of the money Rudy has? Sorted the bills by value and used skip counting when needed. Skip count when needed, starting with the highest denomination, the 500 peso bill, down to the smallest, the 20 peso bill. Like this, 500, 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830. This means that Rudy has 830 pesos in his wallet. Therefore, Rudy cannot buy the pants at the store because he has less money than the price of the pants. Another solution for us to determine the amount of money Rudy has. Sorted the bill by value and counted the number of each bill separately. Then, determine the amount of for each type of bill. Finally, add the amounts for each type. How many of each type of peso bill does Rudy have in his wallet? Rudy has 4 20 peso bills and one of the 500 peso, 200 peso, and 50 peso bills. Skip counting to find the total amount of the 20 peso bills. 20, 40, 60, 80. The amount of the 20 peso bills is 80 pesos. Then add all the amounts together. The solution is shown below. 500 plus 200 equals 700. Step 2, 700 plus 50 equals 750. And last one, 750 plus 80 equals 830. This means that Rudy has 830 pesos in his wallet. Therefore, Rudy cannot buy the pants at the store because he has less money than the price of the pants. Class, how can you recognize the 200 peso, 500 peso, and the 1000 peso bills? We can recognize the bills by their appearance, including their color and the amount printed on them. How do you determine the amount of a set of bills? Here are sort some the points by value. Determine the, the bills by for value. Each type, starting with the add highest. all amounts together Used to find the total. By hundreds, or fifties, sort the points and by value when needed. Determine the amount for. You can also sort the bills by value. Determine the amount for each type, and add all amounts together to find the total. How do you write amounts of money given a set of peso bills? We use the peso sign followed by the amount. For our evaluation, please determine the amount of the peso bills, then write your answer on the space provided. And that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.